Coming to you from a studio located somewhere in Atlanta, Georgia. It's time for Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. It's all good. Let's go. Willie Brown and Woody. <laughs> Gospel Comedy Shout out to Rufus. Get your praise on, get your praise on, everybody give a soul clap, get your praise on, get your praise on. And here's your host, the funny man with lots of voices, Willie Brown. Y'all go on and sit down. Y'all go on and sit down. Oh, Lord. How's everybody doing? It's good to see you guys. Good to be seen. Amen. Welcome to Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. My name is Willie Brown, and you are my friends. Glad y'all made it. I'm glad y'all made it, man. It's it's hard to get. The traffic is rough, right? I know. I-75 is the only place in Atlanta where you don't got to pay to park. (laughs) Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. It's rough. It's okay, though. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. You know why? I think our priorities are out of line. I do. I think the government is too busy trying to legalize marijuana. Yeah, I think some of those politicians are involved in it. In fact, the other day I heard they had a joint session in Congress. Yeah. They they told me some of those senators were so high they were speaking from the floor of the House. I get a rim shot on that? Who wrote these jokes? I'm telling you. All right. Well, look. Well, I'm gonna keep keep it going right here. You guys came out. And we're gonna have a great time. I didn't. I, I'm not here by myself. You know, I got my partner with me. I'm gonna bring him out. So I want you guys to put your hands together right now and start clapping. I want you to give it up for my partner, my sidekick, Woody. Y'all, get up for Woody. Come on. Yes, man. I'm glad you're here, man. I'm glad to be here, too. I'm telling you, I'm glad to see you. Y'all looking good. How y'all doing? All right. We starting to come up. Mm-hmm. We ought to come up. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, I got a new car. Yeah, it's new to you. <laughs> I don't know about the three or four other people that had it. I mean, it ain't nothing to ride home about. It ain't nothing to ride home in. <laughs> Always laughing, ain't nothing funny. <laughs> Got more teeth in your mouth than Afro comb. <laughs> he gonna chew his way out of here after the show. <laughs> teeth look like project windows. One up, one down, one in, one out. <laughs> this next gentleman I'm about to bring up is part, uh, one part of a group called Four Man and Quest. That's right. Four men, four Christ, four comedy. Funny guy from Atlanta, Georgia. He's hilarious. I want you to put your hands together and give a very warm welcome to my man, Darian Perkins, y'all. Give it up for Darian Perkins. Come on. Come on. I am excited to be a part of Gospel Comedy Live. And you should be too, because this is awesome, ain't it? This is exciting. Live studio audience of beautiful people. Glad to see people, because we live in a social media society where everything is going virtual now. A lot of y'all in here on Facebook got a million friends, but you're here by yourself because you ain't had nobody to go with. (laughs) They say that for those who laugh and those who cry, live longer, and that's good, because they also say that 50 is the new 40, and 40 is the new 30. That's what they say, ain't that what they say? That's what they say, but what does your back say? <laughs> what does your knees say when it start raining? <laughs> Have you noticed the older you get, the more you become like a meteorologist? <laughs> I had a grandma save my life back in Missouri. She was like, oh sugar, it's starting to rain today, my knees swelling up. 
Oh, my hip done slipped out of place. It's gonna be a flash flood. Oh, there go my right shoulder. It's gonna be gusty winds of 45 miles an hour. Oh, my back done went out. It's gonna be an electrical storm with tornadoes. Take me to the fallout shelter. Cause I ain't gonna make it help me. Uh, I tell you though, you know, that only happens when you're old. It don't happen when you're young. But when you're young, you, young people take youth for granted, don't they? Yeah. When you're young, yeah. you can hurt yourself and not even know you hurt. Get hit by a bus. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> can I get a transfer? <laughs> not when you get old. When you get old, you can hurt yourself in your sleep. <laughs> you in the bed. <laughs> Ah, my dad! My dad, call the paramedics, call the ambulance! Call Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, Dr. Pepper! I, I need some Percocet, some Demerol, some, some Vicodin, and some Oxycodone! You'd be embarrassed to tell the doctor what happened? Uh, well, uh, see, I was in the bed and uh, I was laying there and uh, I, was, uh, I was dreaming, I, I, I fell down some steps. You fall down some steps? No, if I fell down some steps for real, I'd be dead right now. I was dreaming. <laughs> but you know, I don't care what they say. Healthcare insurance is expensive, ain't it? It's expensive, and that's all they want to know when you walk in there is who is your insurance provider? That's what all they want to know. You know, you can, you can walk in the doctor's office with both your arms and legs cut off <laughs> and hand it to them. And they want to know who is your insurance provider? I done been at the doctor's office, got asthma, y'all, not breathing, everything. They still want to know who is my health care provider. I'm up in there, hee, hee, They're like, who's your insurance provider? Hee, You have HMO? Hee, PPO? Hee, I see you can't talk, can you write? Hee, you need some oxygen? Hee, you need some oxygen? Hee, security, take him outside so he can get some oxygen. It's free outside. <laughs> One time I said, I'm not even going to go to the, the reception. I'm going right into the doctor's office. I walk in the doctor's office, I'm over there. The doctor told me, who is your insurance provider? <laughs> Called me off guard, so I said, I'm going to make him laugh. I was like, uh, blessed assurance. <laughs> Jesus is mine. You know that doctor looked at me talking about, well, soon and very soon, <laughs> you are going to see the king. The nurse talking about no more asthma there. You are gone. And I'm Darian Perkins. Thank you. Gospel Comedy Live. Ooh, yeah. Give it up one more time, Thor. Come on. Hey, you're watching Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. We'll be right back right after this. Let's go. Gospel Comedy Live. If you love clean, wholesome family comedy and would like to bring the Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live Tour to your city, call us now at 310-663-9228 or visit us at cleancomedyclinic.com. Gospel Comedy Live Tour packages are now available featuring some of your favorite clean and gospel comedians like Willie Brown and Woody. Don't be touching me now, they get the wrong impression. Comedian Joey Aiello. Five years, this is happily married. Five years of happiness right here. And the hilarious Nikita B. Yo, woman, see what you don't see before you see it to see if you're going to look at what she just saw. If you're looking for comedy that the entire family can enjoy, you've come to the right place. Book the Willie Bright and Friends Gospel Comedy Live Tour now at your local church or theater. Call 310-663-9228. Or visit us online at cleancomedyclinic.com, the world's first 24-hour clean comedy channel. Mm -hmm. God loves you, so do I. All right, this next gentleman there is funny. He is like uh, 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 the most popular comedian on satellite radio. That's right. He's appeared on Comedy Central, among a bunch of other programs. Very funny guy, right here from the ATL. Put your hands together and give it up for my brother from another mother, Ken Kinkin. Come on, show him some love. Come out. Thank you. Woo. 
Now, if you're over 40, be careful sitting down, all right? I got to see this real good. How many of you are over the age of 30? Let me see your hands. Over the age of 30, yes. I got to totally relate with Adrian. Other night, I'm sleeping. And have you ever had this happen where you pull a muscle? Sleeping. Have you had that? I said that at a show one time. This guy came over. You know what that is, right? You know what that is, right? This big buff 20-something kid. You know that you're dehydrated. Dehydrated. <laughs> Got to hydrate before you go to bed. I said, Dude, I'm 40. If I hydrate before bed, I'm peeing nine times a night. <laughs> I'm going to go with the cramp. I'm going to go with that. Not easy getting older. My wife has told me you are not going to be like your dad. Now I don't know. You, I don't see anybody in here like this. My dad has this condition. He used to give me a hard time about my hair. I had big hair growing up, big, like a hand high, big hair. When I was fourteen, I, if you took a picture of buckwheat, I looked like the negative. Okay. <laughs> I love that you get that. Those poor teenagers are going. Who's buckwheat? What is a negative? <laughs> but my dad, he, he gave me a hard time, but he had this thing we call the swoop. In my world, we call it the swoop. These are guys who are bald, but they grow their hair like four feet long. Have you seen this? And swoop. <laughs> and it kind of looks normal until they go swim, and then it's like, whoa. His isn't the worst I've ever seen. I was at the bank one time. I look up. The guy in front of me had a part right here and called it forward. I wanted so bad to get in front of him and just go. <laughs> and it's, it's not easy getting older. It's really not. Now, this one's visual, all right? This one's visual. So I got I to gotta put these on real quick. Hang with me. Here we go. Did you know that you can tell how old a tree is by how many rings it has? Did you know that? Did you know that you can tell how old a man is by where his waistline is? <laughs> this is about middle school right here. And apparently, they don't stitch the inseams well because they got to walk around like this with the inseam. And then, they, they, I do not know what age it is, but then it goes up to like high school and then college. And I do not know what age it is, but at some age, that waistline just crawls up. dad meets me at the door now and he gives me a hard time hey got a little spare tire working there huh son not me not me i wear the same waist size i did in high school I'm like yeah dad but you know what i never have a problem getting underarm deodorant on my waistband now here's the part that really scares me is that one day he woke up and he did his hair Put on his dark socks and flip-flops. Put on his shorts, and he looked in the mirror, and he had the conscious thought, this looks good. <laughs> I told my wife, you keep a gun with one bullet. <laughs> the day you see me, you just go, it's time. <laughs> it's just, it's not right. And it's not easy getting older. It's not easy. But I'm not afraid of it. I've met some really cool old people. I met this dude the other day, 100 years old. A hundred years old, I'm like, dude, what is the best part of being 100? And he looks at me, this is my favorite. He goes, oh, that's easy. And I said, really? What's the best part? He goes, no peer pressure. <laughs> dude, that is awesome. I said, can I use that? He goes, oh, I'm not going to need it. I'm not even going to remember it. <laughs> But I, I, my wife, my wife is getting older with me. I love that. She woke up the other day. She goes, oh, my goodness, my back. My back, it hurts. I said, you know what? I've had that. And she goes, oh, what is it? And I said, well, I asked the doctor about it. And uh, he said it was the early stages of OLD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Did anybody have married to a hypochondriac? Anybody? She was like, oh my goodness, what's that? I said, you're getting older, buttercup. That's what that is. I mean, now, I, I have tried this. The adult M&Ms. Have you had these yet? The adult ones? They're not, they're not all colored. They're all orange. And they're not round. They're oblong. And um, they don't really taste good. But after each M, it says Otrin. And <laughs> I eat those by the bowl full. It's awesome. <laughs> but I tell you what, I, I'm so glad. And, and if, you, if you got one place, you want to see some great humor, go to church and watch old people. I love this. Watch old people, older women. I don't know what age it is, but at some age, they have a Kleenex surgically attached to their head. And watch them sneeze. It looks like this. Standing there like, um, uh, I was going to say bless you, but I'm not sure anything just happened. <laughs> and then watch older men. Have you seen older men sneeze? They, they carry around a small tablecloth in their pocket. <laughs> and they do not care who is around. It's just like, ah! <laughs> And then they look at it. <laughs> yep, got that one. I'll save that for later. <laughs> Show all my friends. <laughs> See, life is funny and God made it the way. God bless you guys. Thanks for letting me be here tonight. Really awesome. <laughs> Ken Keaton, ladies and gentlemen. Show them some love. Uncle Rufus, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uncle Rufus, you been to the doctor? Well, I, I passed his office three times. But I had a triple dot test. <laughs> Why they keep looking at us? Who? Who? These people right here. They keep looking at us. Yeah, they, they didn't stand at us for the last three minutes. I know why they're looking there. That's why. Because we black. <laughs> Uncle Rufus. Huh? I don't know if you don't, didn't recognize or not, but they're black too. Huh? Yeah. Major, we ought to be looking at them then. <laughs> Somebody call the police. <laughs> it ain't like that. It ain't like that. Yes, it is. No, no, it's not like that. All right, look, I want you to help me bring on the next comedian. Okay, yeah, I think I know who it is. You think you know who it is? Yeah, let me see, it's uh, I think it's uh, I forgot what I was gonna tell you. That happens sometimes. Yeah, okay, okay, I think I know who it is. This girl right here is hot. That's right, she is, she is hilarious. And she is one of the funniest gospel comedians on the circuit right now. She is doing it, I'm telling you right now. Traveling all over the country, tearing up stages. I want you to put your hands together. Give it up for my sister from Columbia, South Carolina, Nikita B. Nikita B, y'all. Nikita B, come on. What's up, family? How many of y'all know any day above ground is better than a day underground? Y'all agree with that? Yeah, make some noise about that if you happen to be alive. Yes. How many of y'all know that everybody is somebody? Y'all believe that? I lost my mom to breast cancer, family, and that's how I started doing comedy. So I know how it feels not to want to laugh. I know how it feels not to want to smile. I know how it feels to be mad at God. I know how it feels to want to stop praying. All that stuff, I know how it feels. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, now, Lord, I know a good seven or eight other people you could have took. You didn't have to take my mom. You know, that's what I was thinking. You know what I'm saying? I, was, I meant that thing. I was up and set. So then I thought about it. I said, you know what, Keita? You mad at God. You done been in a lot of fights. You done won most of them. But who do you think is going to win between you and God? And then I thought about it. And I realized I didn't want to wake up dead. So, so I apologized and got myself together. Now I'm able to talk to y'all. So I feel good about it. Now if you know that you're somebody, I want you to look at a person to the left of you and say, I am somebody. Now the one on the right don't believe you. So you look at the one on the right and say, I am somebody. 
Now, family, I'm going to tell you another story. Since y'all want to talk about it, we'll talk about it. I was in this bad relationship a long time ago, a real, real long time ago. I have to say that because my husband in here, we are all the way down the road. Now, it was a long time ago. Y'all got that. I was in a bad relationship, but I find good in everybody. They said, Keita, you don't need to be with him. He don't have a job. I said, whoa, he has more time to spend with me. You got to find the good in people. They said, they said, Keita, you don't need to be with him. He don't have a car. I said, whoa, he don't have a license. He don't need no car. He trying to follow the law. You see how they were hating on me. Then, family, he took me to meet his mama. Okay, we family now, so uh, I'll tell y'all the truth. I took us to his mama's house, right? <laughs> y'all, we got down there as tall as I am. His mom gonna look at me to my, mm, mm, mm. How did you end up with my son? Like he was a dime piece. <laughs> Honey, I looked her dead in her eyes and I said, ma'am, I have low self-esteem. <laughs> and as soon as I get myself together, I'm gonna give your ragged son right back to you. Because I am somebody. Come on now, please. Yes. Woo. Hey, you're watching Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. We'll be right back right after this. Family, now me and my husband, we have a blended family. We have five children and stuff. And uh, pray for me. Um, it's one in the middle that make me feel like prison might not be that bad. Do you understand me? Now, I'm a nurse by trade in my other life. That's what I do. I'm a nurse. I don't need nobody choking or nothing now because I ain't clocked in. But every time you talk to her, she act like she's short of breath. I said, did you clean your room? <sighs> I said, did you do your homework? <sighs> I said, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take you to the doctor on Monday. If the doctor does not tell me you have asthma, I'm going to snatch your throat out so I can see every word to try to come up out your mouth. And then she's so disrespectful, family. She used letters instead of words. I asked her a question. She said, IDK. Do y'all know what that means? I don't know. Uh-huh. She asked me, could she go somewhere? I said, absolutely not. She said, SMH. That means shaking my head. The other children over there interpreting like she's speaking in tongues. You understand me? <laughs> Then she said some real jazz. I said, what did you say? She said, JK. They was like, mama, that means just kid. And I said, okay. I said, you know what, little light-skinned little girl? The next time you talk to me using letters instead of words, when them people come in here and find you, you're going to be D-O-A. What does that mean? Yeah. Then the other kids look at me like, oh, that ain't no approved abbreviation. You know what I'm saying? So I told my husband, I said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get all these jokes. We're going to take them to church and we're going to give them back to the Lord. Because that's what my parents did to me. They gave me back at least 72 times. You understand me? <laughs> now I told y'all, my mom passed away. My mom was a minister. My dad is a pastor. Family, I didn't realize it was that many single women in church that after my mom passed away. Do you hear me? Oh, uh, uh, it was one lady in particular. She should have had theme music when she talked. Um, you know what I'm saying? She come through and she's so dramatic. And when she walk, it should be like a band playing or something. <laughs> See, we from the country, so we walk regular, one foot in front of the other. Not her, honey. When she walk, everything moves. She be getting it. You know what I'm saying? My boys say, Mama, that woman thicker than grits. <laughs> <laughs> now, me and I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> My boys watch her all service. My husband do too, but he don't think I see him. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Man, your woman see what you don't see before you see it to see if you're going to look at what she just saw. You understand me? Yeah. Uh-huh. So she was coming down the aisle. We call her Miss Lucy, for lack of better words. So... She was going down the aisle, wrote a little note, gave it to the usher. I said, run, get that to my husband for Miss Lucy get down there. Now, he looked at the notes, y'all. He was just grinning because he know my hand right, right? <laughs> I gave him a scripture because we was in church, you know. Act like you got some sense. He opened up the note, and all it said was, you better look towards the hills from which cometh your help. Now, he didn't know why I said this, but by this time, she was walking down the aisle. And at his peripheral, he seen her, right? So he looked, and immediately he looked straight up in the air. <laughs> Don't play. Hey, you're watching Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. We'll be right back right after this. Good job. That's my time. I am comedian Nikita B. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's hear from Nikita B. Yeah. That, that girl's a firecracker right there. <laughs> she gonna make Uncle Rufus walk. <laughs> oh, mercy. Where'd she go? <laughs> Nikita B, one more time. Y'all give it up for her. Yeah. This next young man come all the way from Columbia, South Carolina, from the Right Direction Church, where he and his father pastor and also First Lady Marsha Daly. I want y'all to put your hands right now. Put your hands together. Put your hands together, y'all. And give it up for my brother, the gospel rapper, Scotland Bailey, y'all. Scotland Bailey, come on, yeah! Come on, y'all, show some love, come on. Make some nice for my brother, Willie Brown, what's good? Y'all ready? Gospel Comedy Live! Boy, I'm always on my grind, boy, I'm always, switch it, hey, always on my grind, boy, I'm always, DJ Christian, let's go! fans, if you love clean, wholesome family comedy and would like to bring the Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live Tour to your city, call us now at 310-663-9228 or visit us at cleancomedyclinic.com. Gospel Comedy, where is that? Gospel Comedy Live Tour packages are now available featuring some of your favorite clean and gospel comedians like Willie Brown and Woody. All right, sit up here. Don't keep touching me now. They get the wrong impression. Comedian Joey Aiello. Five years. This is happily married. Five years of happiness right here. It's the benefits of marriage, just like an ottoman for my arm. And the hilarious Nikita B. Man, your woman see what you don't see before you see it to see if you're gonna look at what she just saw. You understand that? If you're looking for comedy that the entire family can enjoy, you've come to the right place. Book the Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live Tour now at your local church or theater. Call 310-663-9228 or visit us online at cleancomedyclinic.com, the world's first 24-hour clean comedy channel. Y'all got your tickets, didn't you? Some of y'all waited till the last minute, but you got them. I hope you don't wait that long to go to heaven. <laughs> God love you, so do I. <laughs> 